Do you guys see the photos of, of Jerry Seinfeld in streetwear for that magazine? Or the catalog, I should say. Did you see the photos of, of Jerry Seinfeld dripped out? I don't know what, what K-I-T-H is. Is that King of the Hill? He, dude, he looks good. He looks, he looks drippy. And how old, is, uh, how old is Jerry Seinfeld? I'm going to guess. Hold on. Jerry Seinfeld was probably 32 when Seinfeld started airing in 1991. I'm going to say Jerry Seinfeld is 64 years old. Jerry Seinfeld. 68! This motherfucker's old as hell. That's amazing. I mean, look, I'm not saying you got to hand it to him. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying we should all be so lucky to look that good at 68. We won't be because he has a, like a, I don't know nine-figure net worth, but we could aspire to be in the same ballpark, perchance. I did also, there's that Comedians in Cars uh, getting coffee episode <clears throat> with uh, Larry David. I believe Jerry Seinfeld says that never in his life has he had more than two slices of pizza in a single sitting. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, you know what? I was like Jerry when Kesha tried to hug him. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, I'm okay. No, thank you. I don't think... I, I mean, I've just never been cut from that cloth, but I don't think I aspire to be cut from that cloth now. I mean, it's, it's too late at this point. But he, he is eating a lot of cereal. You're not wrong about that. My man is eating a lot of cereal. Looking good today, King? Oh, thank you. I originally... I woke up kind of late today. I wasn't sure if I'd have time for a Peloton ride. Then I said, you know what? What if I just sent it? Then I just sent it. Didn't have the best ride of my life, but but did complete a ride in time. That's all you can ask for! <laughs> oh, good work. Okay, run. Run, run. Okay. Twin Pines Mall? Uh-oh! That was a complete accident! Just get splatted. You running? Oh, you got to block those, brother. Look at that. Just being a kind of a general asshole, honestly. Thanks for the KO. Ooh, <laughs> you, you really think I didn't see that shit coming a mile away? Okay, I got baited. I got baited into picking up that baseball bat. Yep, I, I saw that one coming, but too late. I just, I want the green juice. Why are you guarding the green juice? Who do you think you are? The CEO of Theranos? What the hell is this? Atomic Punch is an insane move! Oh, that's bad. It did a lot of damage to me. Okay, Atomic Punch line still goes crazy. Don't get it twisted. We just gotta find a way to heal. Which means we gotta we gotta kill snipe some scumbag like this. <laughs> the tracking is so fucked up. It never should have worked. I, I'm worried about that mister, man. I think that mister's gonna... That mister's in a great position. Mist is just... It's, it's a rough move. If you default to block, which I've been known to do. It's actually stupid how good that is. Ah, oh, that was my kill. Huge. Sorry, you're still landing good damage. You're still giving yourself a chance to get a super off here. You hear that? I'm being hunted. Nine, eight, Let's go! Seven, six. Pop super. Start, start hitting fools in the fucking face. Ooh! Ooh! I'm out of stamina. <laughs> I'm still out. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. It's good punching, though. Oh! Oh! Hold on. Tony Santana. That missed? Where's my third dude? 
I'm winded. I'm chilling. I'm chilling out here. He's got to be up on that damn tree. We got to we got to stop his ass. I should not be spamming that at this stage of my life. And here I go spamming it. I lived. I got misted. I got misted. I'm not dead though. It's just going to hurt a lot. Like a lot. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'm dead. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this close, though. I think that was a well-played game for having very few healing perks. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with myself on that one. I mean, if you're in the hospital, you got nothing else to do. This guy doesn't even know he's got a sprint. This is a confirmed bot. No, no disrespect. Oh, Jesus Christ! <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Can you just mind your own business for a second? Should have should have gone for a wall splat. I. He's actually AFK. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, dude. I need the eliminations. Fortnite Felix. His ass is like is permanently dead. Things I saw coming a mile away. Things I did not see coming at all. Bro, stop with the atomic punchline. You're kind of like posting cringe, honestly. We're letting our opponent get all this juice. I'm not messing. Whoa! <laughs> you see that snap, though? You see that snap? I'm going sicko mode. You want to get a slice? I'm going to splat you. I got it. So I, I came second place. They disrespected me by putting me in low elo lobby. What the hell's going on? Oh, you're in trouble, brother. You stay out of this. You stay out of this, too. This is like, it's bot lobby. I just, I want to free you. Are you free? I'm trying, okay? I'm I'm actually trying to like help them. They're they're free. They're free. Let's go. We did a good deed. Okay, but now like it's disrespectful that you're trying to beat my ass. Like I saved your life. I could have left you to die like a like a dog, ironically, in the in the dregs of the circle. I I could have left you to starve out there. This is how you repay me. By making me drink a fourth yellow juice. I'll take getting misted over getting javelin tackled at least any day of the week. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Again, I will do a lot of damage. But. What? I, I screwed up my healing once more. Imagine though. Hold this for a second. Someone's gonna elbow drop you. They they literally can't resist. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm dead. He's he's got this is an insane that's honestly I should be killed. I'm embarrassed on your behalf. See you in hell. And by embarrassed, sorry, I don't mean embarrassed. I mean uh, offended. I'm offended on your behalf. Now I'm embarrassed on your behalf. Oh, it, I fall for it every time. <laughs> Fuck him up! Fuck him up! You don't want to the receiving end up. Five gamers remain. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you. We're doing pretty well for a world in which we don't have Meditate. 288 wins?! Jesus Christ. I might plus two you on that one. I'm trying to get a, a cheeky little elbow drop on somebody, but there's nobody in the lobby right now. It looks like a Zom's lobby. 
Just kidding. Oh no. That's honestly just so sad. That's just like, I'm sorry. You never had a chance there. Okay, deserved. Honestly deserved. He splatted me too. Holy shit. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm all, I just get up there. Help! Help me! Help me get off the wall! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god! He supered me out of my dolphin dive? Things that make sense with the priority system in the game, but don't look right when you see them in practice. He read the book. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Listen, you piece of shit. Oh my fucking god. Here we go. Fucking lose my fucking mind. Oh, I'm about to get super. Oh my god. Before you're caught outside the ring. You hit me with that motherfucking garbage can. I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Stop, dude. You already super me once. Hey, Poop McFarden. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. The worst part about it is he's just spamming. He's just spamming it. J Jesus Christ! Can you just stop with the supers for a second and a half? Give me my plank. <laughs> By the way, we should not be here. So I'm going to take my own advice. For once. I'm gone. Hello. <sighs> Omega Uppercut is really good, but look, I just love using Dolphin Dive. Even though I, I was talking about it with Corey. I, you can't really justify it, but do you need more justification than what you just saw? The Pogs per minute quotient is so damn high. How'd you know I was going to go for the unblockable? The, the pogs per minute is too freaking high, dude. How do you not take that? I'll take a great Izuna drop, please. Like, that's why Dolphin Dive is good. It's bad, but it sets up such greatness. Also, if you land a Dolphin Dive, it gives you a guaranteed aerial super. Repeating, of course. Quick little big chicken. It is a move for nerds, though. So don't don't get that confused. If you're not a nerd, you're not allowed to use dolphin dive in this house. I saw a shadow up here. Should I be facing you? I don't know. Are we about to get Cosmo shotted into the water? I would say strong chance. It's kind of nice to have five juices. You can just spam moves and doesn't afraid of anyone. Oh, you piece of junk. <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, how about one of these? Then, then, it doesn't work. It does, he's meditating! Get him! <laughs> Bro, he was meditating. Whoa! I don't want to go down there. Are you crazy? It worked. That's you honestly you should be mad. I'm not I'm not mad at you. You should be mad that that worked. Yeah, this guy's got a ton of red juice by the way. He's got a scary amount of red juices. You see his jumping? Jump this. Holy shit, he jumped it. Super duper kick, huh? And a stam break at that. He knows, he knows I'm almost dead. I know I'm almost dead. Oh, I got the 
<laughs> okay, good super. Unfortunately, now we got the same amount of HP. That didn't work, huh? See ya in hell! Tell him who sent ya! <laughs> Oh, I knew it was coming too. Still, that was great. That was great. I had a I had a wonderful time with that one. That was legit. Five eliminations. Was it worth? No, not at all. But that was very funny, at least. We'll call that a moral victory. That's dude. That's why I love the the dolphin dive. That's called weapon priority, son. That's called power priority, son. Maybe you've heard of it. I gotta land this choke slam. That's the sauce. He's running. Choke slam sauce. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> that one's for you, Josh. Carrying a plank, confirmed botless. I needed you to get out of here. Thank you. Sadistic! It's an incredible move! I'm just a little gamer boy. Okay, we're clashing. We're spamming. I'm out of stam. Um, my gamers? My gamers? Thunderhog. How about that? Okay, Ru what do we got? Ruby Crusher. Do I, do I see? I see you down there, you piece of shit. You think I don't see you? You think I don't live this game? You think I don't have the situational awareness of a damn bald eagle? You think I won't grab your ass out of nowhere? You're in the chicken? We're fighting! It wasn't fraud, it was false advertising. Oops. We should fuck with these guys though. Go ahead. You live to fight another day. Lil E, big double D. You have meditate? That's true. That's very true. That's damn true. Just felt right. You piece of shit, dude! Why are you third partying? We could have we could have eliminated somebody else from the game. I blame society for this one. I have been down, but I will return to life. Okay, this is it. We need to meditate and eat our chickens. <laughs> I'm climbing the damn brownstone. I'm not climbing the. I'm gonna die. I live. Careful, they might come down on top of you. It's that's just. You got to be proactive on this one. What did I tell you? My stamp. Thank you. Or my, my HP. My HP. My juicer. My streamer. Oh, fuck! Alright. <laughs> the javelin tackled out of nowhere. That's fine. I'm a javelin tack tackling other people out of nowhere. This is not a situation worth being in. But I can't, I can't resist. I'm sorry. I simply can't resist. Keep knocking you into the fight with each other. <laughs> waste your stam. Go ahead, waste your stam. Get punched in the head. It's alright, I got my super now. Holy cow, an elbow drop? 
That's my bad. Really? I take issue. You stay the hell away from me? How do you like that? Oh fuck, I'm gone. I should have been gone ages ago. This this one dude is the ultimate third party here. He's literally just climbing that tree over and over and elbow dropping like the whole group. We all deserve to be killed by him because of his superior intellect. You just made me mad. Exactly. So true. I'm still drinking juice. Oh, Jesus Christ! So let me drink some ju damn juice, man. What is, what is even happening? Okay, that's just honestly horrible luck for you. You, you don't deserve to be dead here. But, I mean, I guess you did attack me. Oh, and then the Alt F4. Okay. I mean, I can understand that. I'm something of an Alt F4 myself. Don't worry, it's secured. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. One more? Okay, that was pretty solid. It's amazing how fast life can come at you in this game. <laughs> I, was, I was standing on top of them during the giant swing. Really? I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna be right here. Whoa! They were playing dead! That, I, I was not even joking. They were using the play dead emote. Okay, that's... They, they seem to know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, what? This is bullshit, dude. There's haters everywhere. That should have hit, as you know. Help. Worth, worth. That was, we outthought them, honestly. And we get the heal off of the satisfaction. This guy seems like he's, he's weak. No, no disrespect. He seems like he's scared. Save me. <laughs> I'm in hell. I'm not in hell. I'm in hell. These guy guys gotta have like 4 HP left. I'm not even sweating that. If he heals, whatever. I'll, I'll just farm him later. <laughs> He's dead. That's gotta be him. Oh no, but he died with a cause. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that was him. That was him. That's a great move. I gotta give you an incredible amount of- I got- That was unbelievable. That was incredible? I think they Cosmo shot it into a Cosmo shot? That was an incredible play. 423 special eliminations. Are you in the World Series of Warzone? I think it's getting a little crazy. I mean, I can't really complain. We're making the final circle like most games. We're getting a lot of eliminations most games, but uh, we're definitely playing against some, some high-octane gamers. I would like to see them lose, though. <laughs> I would like... Well, I don't know, because the other guy was just hiding in a dumpster. Maybe I respect that, though. This It's over for you. That's... I, look, that was like a six-hit combo. <laughs> So what's next on the docket? Super Auto Pets. You knew this was coming. You knew that win was coming. Last time, I mean, I'm not even joking with you. Last time we had a desk audit situation. On Kate's stream, she was going off. I should not drop kick, man. That felt amazing, though. A thrower? Watch out, there's a thrower here. Just pop it. You want to get involved? Be careful what you wish for! 
man actually lived through a thousand and eight damage and then followed up with a poison sumo clap. How, how are you alive right now? Three, Worth. Two. I replaced the wrong move, by the way. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a hot one. Punchline goes insane, though. Don't, don't get that messed up. Punchline goes crazy. Alright, Omega Uppercut goes crazy too. I don't respect it. He knew. He knew it could hit me. And for that, you gotta have respect. I'm just trying to get superstar mode, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying to be a complete scumbag. <laughs> Mission impossible. Mission impossible. Get out of there. Horrible idea. Huge. Huge. Get in there. Oh, how did he jump so high? Everybody's confused in, in today's world. Sadistic! Sadistic! We're both terrain abusers. Like, we, we deserve each other. My camera? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Sadistic. We're a, we're a long way from heaven, brother. I'm alive. He blocked. <laughs> it's just me and him. Me and who? I honestly, I, I thought we had him on priority. When he missed the super and I hit atomic punchline, I thought for sure he was getting clapped. That's fine though, it happens. Tell me, say it, say it, it's deserved. It's deserved. It, it really is, and that's the part that burns me up the most. I was I was running a mist out of nowhere. I need to hit you as many times as possible. <laughs> oh my god, it worked. Do I have I do I heal on kills. Oh thank god. What it, I mean you knew as as plain as day, you knew it was coming. We need a damn kill now. We need a kill again. I don't have juice heals. The hell are you doing out here? I don't, I don't see any chickens out here. It's by the body. Oh! So true, I'm dead anyway. I'm alive. That's just two piece. I've healed slightly. I want. You don't need to super me, that's beneath you. Yum, 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 yum. He's, he's out. He's gone. I don't have bomb. Bastard! <laughs> okay, I got one more in me. That hit, thank God. Quick little power priority, unexpected. Quick little wake up Omega Cyclone Clash. Follow it up with- Oh no! You beast! I lived. Come on. Don't even look. You know what's coming. Don't even look. Plank. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not so nice when it happens to you, is it? 
What the hell? They they all that four, dude. They all that four. That's so funny. Imagine, holy cow! Can you imagine being that person? Hey, you don't know. They might have had a really hard day. No, I was I was helping you. I was. You might win. Okay. Would you buy novelty collectible juice containers if they sold them? No, zero percent chance. Um. I don't want to buy novelty anything, honestly. We have so much, um... If you'll forgive me for saying it. We have so much ass merch that was just sent to us because, like, you know, Game Studio X has a marketing budget that they need to spend. We don't need any more ever. Like, I eventually... Sometimes I would get, like, DMs from PR people that were like, Hey, we've been trying to reach you. We really want to get, like, your home address so we can send you a water bottle for a game that you're never going to play. And I was like, it's okay. I just... It sounds really ungrateful. I mean, I guess in a way, I, I am ungrateful. Like, the dictionary definition of the word ungrateful, because I, I don't want it. But it's like... We go to the post office... P.O. box is full. I gotta, sometimes you got to even pay customs on it because it's, it's from the U.S. Uh, then you, you you bring these boxes home. Uh, you, it, you load them into your car or it, you, had, you had to carry them all the way home. And then, like, you open it up and you're like, oh, a water bottle for... This is hypothetical, okay? A water bottle for Resident Evil Revelations 2. Hold on, I just wanted to get involved. A Mombazu water bottle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm letting this other person live because they don't seem as good as you do. As a result of that... I really thought that would get you. I want the good players to pass away. You think I don't see you? You think I don't see you over here? In the, in the game, not in, not in IRL. Get splatted? You've been splatted. You just got splatted. That's nothing. I've got so many wins. Open parentheses. I've never played this game before. You're in charge. Of, you're in charge of making money using the popular mascot Baby Yoda by Disney. How would you do it? I'm not the CEO of Disney, by the way. Okay. Um, here's how I would do it. The first thing I would do, I would not have anybody know that Baby Yoda is a thing. I would have it be a complete secret. Then I would like hire the director of Iron Man to create a, a new standalone series in the Star Wars universe that could be the selling point for a brand new subscription service from Disney. So, you know, people have subscription service fatigue these days. Everyone's got Netflix. Maybe they got Prime Video because they love watching The Boys or old episodes of Wipeout. Everyone's got Shudder. Everyone's got Tubi. Everyone's got uh, Slither. Everyone's got the Saints of Los Angeles and so on and so forth. So I would, I would make like... And maybe I would make it like a sci-fi western sort of thing. And then... Uh, I would have, I would allude to the existence of this cute little Baby Yoda type guy. And then later I would make like the whole show about Baby Yoda. And then just hope that it kind of, I mean, just hope for it pay, that it pays for itself from the prescription services uh, standpoint. How does that sound? Does that sound plausible? Does that sound likely? I love Baby Yoda, by the way. I'm as cynical as anybody else. He's just hes just like a cute guy. Oh, you were in that last lobby, too. Hello. No, you're fired? Okay, I would sell $12 Baby Yoda milkshakes at Disney World that contain 35 cents of uh, high fructose corn syrup. And there would be like a little a little plastic cup that looks like Baby Yoda. You're hired. 
Also, I know his name is Grogu or Gulp Shido, depending on who you talk to, but I just, I like calling him Baby Yoda. My niece actually got mad at me. She said, that, like, we were talking about Baby Yoda this weekend. She said, there is no Baby Yoda. His name is Gragu. And I said, I mean, I'm just going to keep calling him Baby Yoda. I have to inform you. Things my my niece said, she's, uh, she's 11 years old now, I think. She said, we were playing Clue. She said, sheesh. I, I swear to you that this is true. She, sh she said, sheesh. This guess is bussin'. And it wasn't like... Like she was not doing it ironically. Like that was just the way that like her and her generation are talking to one another when they play Clue. It's, it's a crazy world out there, folks. Stay safe. She did not say sus. I'm sorry to report. She did not say sus. Holy cow, they blocked an attack? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's... The you hear that? There was not a second of that fight where I thought there was any chance for you to get out of it. I see the ticket, okay? Super choke slam. Can I also tell you, everyone is saying things that I think are messed up. Like, oh, worst sub September ever? And other, I, I gotta learn, you don't do that. They're better than me? I don't want to fight you, honestly. I, you're, you're, you're just, you're not falling for my basic combos. As a result, I don't think we really need to get into this. Let's not waste each other's time. Um, a lot of people saying worst September ever, worst September September in history. Yeah, but have you considered in a world with 10% inflation, um, that you're actually just a lot better than me? Have you considered in a world with 10% inflation, um, Twitch subscriptions that have not gone up in price in eight years is actually an insane deal. Facebook Mr. Chow to you. That's Costco hot dog logic? Yeah, and everybody's on the same page with the with the with the Costco hot dogs, aren't they? Everyone's saying the Costco hot dog is a great deal. Get you fuck off! How many people are you fighting at the same time? I love the autumn, man. It's a good season. Jabasted. We get the Halloween emotes. Franker, Franker Z, but he's a zombie. Resident Sleeper. I told you this person was going to win this game, by the way. It's still summer. Summer's still cool, don't get me wrong. I like summer, too. Fall's pretty cool, too, though. Summer sucks. Wrong. Summer's pretty sick. Fall second best season. You know what? I would agree with that. I would I would put I would put fall over spring. I'm a summer, fall, spring, winter guy. Winter is for sure the worst. We've been through this a few times. I only accept that you think winter is the best if you are a winter sports uh, participant. If this server seems good, by the way, um, if you are not a winter sports participant and you just stay inside and read books and you're, you're doing it just for the vibe, you're entitled to believe that. Don't get me wrong. However, I do think that I discount your opinion a little bit. I live in California, so winter is the best. That's not uh, fair because winter in... California is summer. That's an objective summer. It's a relative winter and an objective summer. You don't get to live in California and be like, I love winter. Come on. It's, it's, if you love winter so much, why did you move to the state of the endless summer? If you loved winter so much, you would move. You would move to Minnesota and make hot dish with all the moms in Minneapolis, St. Paul. I'm from California. Most annoying thing is when it rains, people say shit like, we really needed this. I do get annoyed. I mean, that's not a California thing. I do get annoyed at, at rain reverence. But I mean, we've, we've talked about it a few hundred thousand times before. That's a great tackle, honestly. I, you can't. 
<laughs> I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm just gonna say it. I'm upset. I'm running. There's literally drought all the time. Yeah, but you don't control the weather. When people say, like, uh, we really needed this. You're like, yeah, you, it's water. Of course, you always need it. Oh, my God. We're, we're being victimized here. <laughs> Look at it. How do you have a... You got to move for every situation. I'm, I'm in hell. Just better. Honestly, just better. I, I can't believe he followed me to the ends of the earth. I, I should be dead. I deserve to... I mean, we deserve to be dead there. That's just a, a substantially better player, quite frankly. I think we've somehow ended up in the in the fighting game lobbies. Anyway. I just... I mean, it's... Because people say it in Vancouver, too. Nobody ever has, like, a sunny day and says, we really need this, which seems disingenuous to me. Everybody says... Oh, we uh, we really needed this. Whenever it rains, even if it rained, like I guess what I'm what I'm annoyed by is the double standard. Like if you switch the perspective around, if it rains two days in a row, you never get to say I'm sick of the rain, because some uh, idiot botanist will be like, actually, you know, we need water for living things to stay alive. And you're like, yeah, no kidding. But like, also, I kind of want to like go for a walk or something like that. If you have three sunny days in a row, people are like, oh, I really wish it would rain. Not for me to stay inside and read uh, Stephanie Meyer novels, but like, it's not for me. I don't ever think about myself. That's the thing you're going to learn about me. I, I'm only ever thinking about other people. I just wish it would rain for the plants, you know? For me, it would, it would, it would actually make my life a little bit worse, but the plants, the plants would love it. I, I fell victim to the exact same thing that I did to that other guy. It's, it's hard to be mad, and yet here I am doing it. And now, did you see the clip of Ninja quitting midstream? No, but I will say, now that I'm a Battle Royale professional myself, who's held to a higher standard of gaming excellence, I can understand it. Because, like, we've, we've now hit the point, like, for me, where people, they're only happy with a first place finish, you know? You get in these, these high-octane lobbies, you got a, you know, a target on your head. Everybody's trying to take your ass out. And nobody considers, like, a, a fifth place is no longer success. The only way you can have success is, is a first place finish. It's, it's unrealistic. It's unreasonable. So I can totally understand the, the mindset. I mean, I hang out at the, at the Blevins' place every weekend. We play board games together. We play pretty, pretty intense stuff. We play some Munchkin. I don't know if you're... It, it requires... Like, you got to be pretty mathematically minded to understand it, but... So, I mean, I'd say we're kindred spirits. Same tax bracket and everything. Hey, now, what's your opinion? Do you think that the Grandmaster who has uh, two times your ELO cheated versus the Grandmaster who has 2.2 times your ELO? I don't know. My expert opinion from watching a bunch of YouTube videos from International Masters, I think definitively the answer is this. I'll comment on it if the vibrating Morse code butt plug theory becomes canon, okay? He was not moaning at the board. Don't lie to the people in chat. You can't lie to me, but don't... People in chat will believe you. Magnus plays knight to c5, his opponent. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> at the same time, you're welcome. You gonna elbow drop me, you piece of shit? By the way, I'm getting destroyed in Rumbleverse today. If you're a Dan viewer, we've entered real fighting game lobbies. We've entered the end state of fighting games where uh, only one person has fun and everybody else is just lying to themselves. Where uh, somebody goes uh, 2 and 17 in their matches for the evening and then they're really mad and they go to bed angry and then their spouse is like, how was your night, honey? And they're like, good. I had a great time playing video games. Uh-oh! It is nice to say uh-oh, though. That's always a fun time. Now, don't go for the unblockable. Just go weapon priority on him. Then go for a throw, in my opinion. Then take out another baseball bat. <laughs> Where are you going? Worst feeling in the world playing a fighting game with a friend who is drastically worse than you are? What are you talking about? Who do you think suggested the game in the first place? You disingenuous so-and-so? 
Yeah, I'm sure your your friend who you've never played with uh, in a fighting game before was like, let's play Guilty Gear X2 355 uh, Surprise uh, $90 Steelbook Edition. They said better? Read the message. Copy the message. I, I changed the sentiment for readability. They were trying to say the worst thing is that when you're better than your friend, because you feel so bad kicking their ass and, and being an emotional vampire taking all of their positive emotions. Oh, it feels so bad to feel good. Wait, streamers right? Music to my damn ears. Win, please. Did you bet on, on win, Josh? I always... I always set out to try to win, but sometimes something more appealing shows up. Like now you can have your phone and eat it too, you know? No, I don't gamble. Based? Honestly, based? I read an article yesterday about the rise of problem gambling in uh, 20 to 30 somethings. As. That's gonna hurt. As brought on by uh, the proliferation of smartphone based casinos and, and sports betting advertising in every single uh, professional sports league on the planet. Uh, and then somebody replied to the article and said, oh, so are we going to ban everything that's harmful for society now? And I went to their Twitter profile and like it was like clockwork. I really need the Yankees to hit a home run here to cover the spread. Please, please, I need a triple. If we could just have, if Mike Judge hits a triple, I win $145,000. Like it was, I, I didn't even have to come up with a hypothesis. I already knew that was what was going to happen, but he's just having a lot of fun. He's just having a lot of fun uh, tweeting about events that he has no control over and, and giving that, you know, the, those is the only thing that can provide him with true happiness in his life. He's just having a lot of fun living his life. The remaining contestants will now compete in a smaller ring, which rumblers will prevail. Mike Judge? <laughs> is his name not Mike Judge? Is that the guy who made Beavis and Butthead? My mistake. Can I tell you something? I got a chip on my shoulder today. Let me tell you why. My wife got a dentist appointment, okay? Waiting to get started here, folks. The dentist the appointment was supposed to be for 11.30 a.m. She made it two weeks ago. No big deal. They called yesterday. Hey, would it be cool if we... Uh, oh, first they called and said, we're just confirming your appointment. And they hit you with all the guilty until presumed uh, innocent shit. Just so you know, if you ever try to cancel your appointment, we need 48 hours notice. Otherwise, we'll charge you a cancellation fee or you might be held liable for the entire cost of the quote that we gave you for the dental work that we were going to do. Okay. So then she says, that's fine. I'll be there at 1130. I'm an adult. They call her yesterday. They, after the confirmation call, they call again and say, hey, hey, the dentist is coming in late tomorrow. Would it be OK if we moved your appointment to noon? At which point she said, sure, noon is fine. They said, OK, thank you so much for your uh, your service or your, your sacrifice. Then at like 7 p.m., they called her back and said, hey, the dentist is coming in even later. They called, we were eating dinner. It was like 7 p.m. Uh, is it okay if we move it till 12.30? And then my wife said, how long will the procedure take? They said about 90 minutes. And she said, oh, I have to leave before two. And they said, okay, we understand. We won't call you again. Then she got an email that said, thank you for your changing your appointment. We have moved your appointment to one. So she said no, and then they rescheduled her appointment for a half hour after the appointment that she said no to. It's just, it's madness. The audacity. So I told her, I said for breakfast, French onion soup. For lunch, um, get Korean barbecue with a bunch of raw garlic. It's just like, it's just disrespectful. That's, that's all there is to say about it. Meanwhile, if you're a minute late for the dentist, they're like, this is outrageous. We didn't know if you were coming. You can just pocket both. Dot, dot, dot. No shit. You could have just studied in the ninth grade. Then you wouldn't have been in my Twitch chat shit posting about obvious stuff. You would have been learning even more obvious stuff, like the ninth grade curriculum, where all you got to do is show up. Oh my god, they're plus... Th the more toxic I get, the, the more frequent the plus twos become. 
Actually, I had a 3.8 GPA in high school. It's in college when I first met adversity that I completely fell apart. Too real? Too real? Okay, hold on. I'm starting a prediction. It's not Tuesday anymore. Stop being toxic. What the people, they stop typing messages that are like dot, dot, dot. You could have just lived dot, dot, dot. Hey, you're looking a little fat. Eat less ice cream, dot, dot, dot. Just because you you didn't say fuck you in the message doesn't mean the message doesn't... Oh, N64 textures? Doesn't mean that the message doesn't carry an implicit dot, dot, dot associated with it, you know? I really do think... That's the... Um, that's the millennial ellipses. Millennial ellipses is like... But that's none of my business, you know? I'm going to say... Uh, I'm gonna say something like a little bit fucked up. There's like a little bit of an, a personal attack, but that's none of my business. Rings moving in. You third party too? You think I don't call myself a piece of shit on a regular basis? I call myself a, a piece of shit like every day. Let millennials be like, um, that's true. A millennial seeing you do anything? Um, okay, I guess. Um, I'll have the iced frap. Um, do you guys have the dragon fruit uh, juice booster today? Not booster juice. I know what I said. Um, 900 HP. I'm not sweating it. Um, I guess that just happened. My impression of a millennial playing uh, Rumbleverse. Um, what? I'm getting so many plus twos, and all it took was betraying the generation which I belong to. Well, I'm drinking this for 9 HP. So that just happened. Yeah, so that's a thing that they do now. Does anyone else shoot lasers from their eyes? Hey, before we get started, does anybody else see through walls? I, I down somebody with that baseball bat. I guess I can carry a whole chicken in my pocket now. Oh, yeah. A whole chicken in my pocket. So that's a thing we do now. When will we get another Steam exploring day? So I check Steam 250 like five times a week. I'm sorry to tell you, and when I say you, it's the royal you, okay? You guys ruin Steam. Every week, the top games on Steam, and I, I don't mean like the top two, I mean like the top 17 are free horny hentai manga i'm just a nerd in college and like everybody wants to have sex with me and also pat my head and tell me everything's going to be okay like it's the, every single week they just dom they've they've broken the algorithm that's my fault i'm sorry i don't care if you play them but could you just stop making them all uh overwhelmingly positive on steam that's because that's how the algorithm functions. Hey, NL. My friend is about to have a baby. What would be a good gift for them? It's hard because like we, we got gifts when we had our uh, when we had our daughter. The thing is, I the, the big one would be like clothing because I know people are going to say like diapers. But honestly, like. If it's their first kid, they probably got that shit all sorted out. Unless they need help, in which case, then it would definitely be, like, very welcomed. But you you can never have too many clothing. Too much clothing for a baby. You could have too many uh, diapers, you know, you could run out of storage space. But even with clothing, you know, like, people would give us a onesie. We'd have the baby wear the onesie, like, you know, two or three times. Then they grow out of the onesie, and we're like, you know what? I think that's... That, you're basically, you're buying a gift for yourself as well. Because you'll get a photo of the baby wearing the onesie. So you're basically... I mean, baby clothes tend to be pretty cheap. So you buy a onesie, you know, maybe it's like 20 bucks. Then you... Oh, you missed it, me. Then you get a, a photo of the baby wearing a onesie. For 20 bucks? That's a pretty sick deal, man. The problem is you have to buy more clothes in three months. Yeah, but it's not like, you know, you can just, like, not wear clothes, you know? Like, there's no getting around that one. Weapon priority, unlocked woo. 
Watch me? No, I mean like a baby, because a baby like oftentimes goes outside against his will. Don't plank me. I think that's a good gift. A onesie, a cute onesie for a baby is a good gift. Just give me money. It's just a, I mean, it's a weird gift. You're having a baby, like, here's 50 bucks. It's, it's like, I, w I wouldn't have said no, don't get me wrong. It's just a little strange. I mean, all gifts should really just be money at the end of the day, but like, you know, it's not the way, it's not the way we structured society, unfortunately. That's not fun. Yeah, but it's money. <laughs> you could, you could do, you could do whatever you choose to do with it. You're having a baby, here's a trebuchet, okay? I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but thank you. Seems like the kind of, I could probably sell that on Facebook Marketplace for like 500 bucks. Gift cards? I think if they haven't had the baby yet, gift cards are okay. Before we had our daughter, someone gave us a gift card for Toys R Us, which also has like a Babies R Us section, and we, we got some good use out of that. So I, I would not disrespect the, uh, the gift card, but what about a crib? Like, it's... If you're gonna get him a crib, you gotta coordinate that shit with them like, way earlier. You can't just be like, your baby's coming out in like a week. Here's a crib. They're gonna have a crib already. You're getting the- And then you- you lose the right to be upset with them at that point. If- if they choose not to use your crib, okay? Like, if the baby's coming out, it's too late to get them a practical gift. Is Rumbleverse getting you interested in traditional fighting games? No, not at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. In, in, if anything, it's reinforcing my desire to not play fighting games. Because Rumbleverse is like, you know, you want to extend your combo? Hit a Q, hit an E. Fighting games are like, you want to extend your combo? Well, first, you know, you're going to have this. Here's a 20 hour YouTube video, a tutorial for you to uh, check out about Skullgirls. The only people who still play it uh, are essentially Grandmaster level. I think fighting games are one of the biggest scams on the planet. So I'm doing some unban requests. L, I was toxic. Long time YouTube viewer don't know Twitch etiquette yet. What did you get banned for? NL on YouTube is funnier to be honest. L all around. L, okay, hold on. I'm loading previous. <clears throat> L, bad bet. L, bad bet. L, easy super. L bet. Hold on. I'm just, just scrolling up. Load previous messages. NL, do you have any stories about being high? What do you do with channel points from bets? Goodbye, Daniel. Solo Pog. See more in user profile. Hold on. Slash user. <laughs> Apparently, they're still in chat, too. You got to respect that. I don't know Twitch etiquette yet. I came here for solos, not duos. Do you still play Isaac? Doubter forever, doubter forever. NL's a toker. Any pogs around? You piece, son of a... Wait, this isn't Dan. What's the best ability in your opinion? NL on YouTube is funnier. NL on YouTube is funnier. Hmm. That's, that's a tricky one. Hold on. You're lucky. You've been saved for a second because I got to run the damn casino. I mean, it's not... Wait, did I run the casino? Did I pay out the last one? I don't even know where we are. It's not really like an insult, because i it's also me on YouTube. I'm going into the damn water. Hold on. Skirt! <laughs> please! Please! Climb me! Climb me! <laughs> Alright, we, anyway, we were, we were second last time. Sorry, sorry. We were second last time. So I'm paying that one out. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of one. It, here's the thing. I, I definitely, I know you're lying when you say, I don't, uh, I didn't know I was being toxic. I don't know Twitch etiquette. But I'm going to unban you because it wasn't that bad. But now you know, okay? Also, like, your name is No Malarkey. So, like, already you got, like, a little, you got, your, your sus indicator is on you. For sure, like I have an I have an exclamation mark over your head or over my head, I should say. But I'll give you a, I'll give you a pass on that one. Okay, hold on, I'm hearing my own voice. Okay, 
Give me my mouse pointer back. Unban. Send unban decision. This one, I don't know. I've been, mi I've been mulling this one over for a while. Weren't paying attention at all. You haven't been paying attention at all lately. You tunnel vision more than any of your enemies ever has. Climb building. Big suck. AFK. Play of the game. Dr. Michael Morbius. And then here's the thing. I think they, they got banned as collateral damage. They do have 999 messages and have only been following for five months. So that's a lot. But they just they basically just had one game where they went psycho. That's fine. That happens. But then the, the unban request says, I don't consider it rude to tell people when they aren't respecting their fiduciary responsibility to the casino and essentially throwing by being super distracted and tunnel visioned in game. Unban me or not. I won't apologize for ca calling out contradictory behavior. And that's where I was like, I feel like it was a guaranteed unban until the unban request. And I, I was then, I, but you know what? There you go. Consider, consider yourself unbanned. This request has been approved. There is, there's another on-ban request that says, um, hold on, let's start this prediction a little late. There's another on-ban request that says, this is my first time on this channel and I'm banned. I don't know what happened. That's a situation where I simply don't trust you. So I've been letting that one sit in the hopper for a while. Because it's, there's a couple of things that could have happened. One is you're just lying. Um, another one is maybe like another member another streamer in our general community i should don't take this don't take this fight uh banned you for doing something horrible and then you came to my chat and you're like what the heck i'm banned here too so that one i don't know that one i gotta simmer on i gotta i gotta dive deep into the logs or you could just subscribe that's the other option no skyrocket you knew it was gonna happen can you ban me so i get on with my life well, dude, I didn't get to finish my topic on this, but when I was when I was reading that article about how many people my age are getting like addicted to online gambling and joining Gamblers Anonymous, I mean, you might say like, "What do you expect?" But I have a lot of sympathy for it. You know, you watch an advertisement, you're like, "Holy cow, betting looks like so much fun." You watch something like Uncut Gems, you're like, "I mean, it's all pogs as far as I can see." Then. You're like, it's okay. I don't think I have a problem with gambling. Because I've never done it before. All of a sudden, you've got a... a well, you haven't realized. you got a cell phone in your pocket. You can go to the casino at any time. From any place on planet Earth. Whereas previously, you know... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Previously, I think, it, you know... I'm not going to say that gambling addiction didn't used to be bad in its own right, but... At least you had to, like, actually get off your ass and, like, go to the casino. I don't even know what moves I have. Oh, Vicious Miss, that's a good one. Irish Whip into the tree. No splat! You splat me! Okay, that's good enough. Anyway, all I'm trying to say... <laughs> ...is that I can understand that previously, if you were addicted to gambling, you had like a self-limiter, you know? Like the casino would close, or, or maybe it wouldn't, but you, you probably wouldn't be there like all day, every day. You know, but now that you got a, a casino in your, in your pocket, there's, it's, it's harder for you to avoid, I guess. Anyway, long story short, I, I have a ton of sympathy for that. I do think it's, I mean, I guess I, it's, it's, I've come a long way. I, I think I've come to terms with the fact that if gambling has one hater, I am, I am one of them. And yet you run a casino. That's true. <laughs> That's, fair enough. I'm not really anti-gambling. I just, I don't know. I'm annoyed at how quickly it became like, like sports were like, hey, if you're, uh, if you're involved with this sport, you can never gamble at all in your whole life. And then in 2018, Every major professional sports league on the planet was like, money is sick, though. Have you considered how sick money is? Uh, and then they all started running, like, exclusively advertisements geared at betting. And out the guy in front of me at this lecture is watching the stream right now. Really. 
What, do you, what, what lecture is it? You want to freak them out? If this is true, tell me what lecture it is. I would, I would love to... I'd love to make his day. Hello, lecture guy. Wait, is he listening or just watching? It's ethics? Hey, you! Maxime! At the ethics lecture. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Pay attention to your professor. It's only like, what, an hour three times a week? It's September. You can't pay attention during September? What are you doing? You're, pay you're, you're paying the tuition? Maybe your parents are paying the tuition? Why are you watching my stream? It doesn't make any sense. Make it make sense, Maxime. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That did not as much damage. Oh, because I have no juice at all? <laughs> I have, I'm juiceless? Sorry, Maxime. Sorry. I got a lot of sustain, though. You ever realize how much sustain I got? Uh, maybe you ever consider using your super? What the hell happened there? Great stuff. I love what you got going on. How about no super required? You know there's going to be some people upstairs. You got, you got to watch those atomic elbow drops. Or you could just... Did you see this? Well, that's a chair. That's a chair. Don't freak out. That's just a chair. I didn't expect to be on ban. Should have added an exclamation point S to the casino comment in the request, and I knew it when I sent it. It's not like... The, this is not the... Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrigan... thing. Like, it's... It's not the trial of the century. It's not O.J. Simpson on trial for murder. It's okay. It's no. It's no big deal. Do they mean slash s? Well, they said slash s. I said exclamation mark to subtly undermine their argument and make myself look superior. It's called rhetoric, sweetheart. And it worked. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, they should come out with a game as good as Rumbleverse so I can stop playing Rumbleverse. Or, you know what they should do? They should release another game that's fundamentally exactly the same as uh, Rumbleverse, but only give access to me and a bunch of gaming journalists. You ever think about that? Can you imagine how much... It's so disrespectful, I apologize. Can you imagine how much we would have feasted if I had played this game during the early access period instead of... Do, playing it for two rounds, being like, I don't get it, and then throwing the shit away. I know I've told this story before, but I remember I was at a media event once, and there was a streamer there, well, like more of a YouTuber. He was talking shit. He's like, I love getting invited to events with like gaming journalists because we just destroy them like so hard every time. I'm like, yeah, this could, I mean, like, no, no disrespect to you. But, I mean, they're like, their job is really to write. Our job is kind of like to, you know, fuck around. Play the game as much as possible. Hold on, I'm splatting you. But then, I think we've come out on the other side. Where now... Anytime I get invited to, a, like, a Twitch thing, I get my ass kicked by, like, an actual professional video game player. And I always think, you know what? It's what we deserve. It's what we deserve for being so cocky and being like, I'm going to live forever. Then the young generation came up from behind and said, Yoink, here's your prize money. Here's your, here's your lifetime supply of Doritos. Um, this seems like we're all going to draw. Okay. <laughs> what a team. Somebody's got to go. That's the problem. That's not a draw we lost? They had a B? Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, we're on lethal on three. 
Stop taking Mantis in all caps, FFS. You don't want to know this, or maybe, I, I mean, I feel like I have a, a legal obligation to notify you of this. Your name for about three streams has been entered into the key value pair. You're a known quantity. I know the, the color of your text is green. Your name is all lowercase. It's four characters, and then there is a... Um, there is a, a, an underscore, and then it's six characters. And I knew that before you typed that message, before I saw that message. So you're, you've actually just been bumped in the database a little bit. Previously, you were just, you were on a list of quantities to monitor. Now you've made it up to threat level uh, crimson. So I'm just saying, you might want to go hide behind a wall or something like that, or get in a locker just until they say must have been the wind or something like that, and then you could start being toxic again. Okay, pop one of these down. I just, again, I just feel like it's something I, I have to warn you. Otherwise, I'm not doing my job as, as a steward of the, of the stream, you know? That's a nice looking jellyfish, by the way. Okay, you've doubled down. You've now, and you're, you're in a very small list of individuals. But it's not a short list like trying to win the Canadian Music Indie Award uh, Polaris Prize. It's a short list like America's Top 10 Most Wanted. Not to be confused with the Maxim Top 100. What's this team? My team? My garlic? My team? We win these, we win these. Easiest win of my life. Okay, Amsa, Amsa, I'm just going to, I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this 10 piece, okay? Slash user, Amsa, Red Hum, okay? This is the second time I've audited you. I know that because I remember your avatar. You've predicted blue, you bet on seven wins, 999 messages. I hate the Mantis. I wasn't here, Sag. God damn it, the Mantis is working too well. Pog, Snail, how's the Mantis still working? OMG's at 8 health, the Mantis is working. Okay, fair enough. They, they owned it, they owned it. Well, I, I keep clicking through the screen there. He's just a Mantis hater. It's rational in some ways. I mean, like, I hate the snake. Like, when I... That, nothing tilts me. Like, people suggesting that I take a snake. Because it's always the right idea. It's like, oh, when people say drink water. It's hard to be mad at someone for saying drink water. It's the right thing to do. But at the same time, it's like, duh. How about you drink a glass of mind your own business juice? Let me be a determined driver. Like the way um, NVIDIA's determined to get me to update my drivers so that I can play Stardew Valley. See, this is why you run anti-moth technology. It finally, finally came to fruition. Hold on, I'm pouring a glass of H2O. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, and then, uh, most insane water chug challenge. I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. That's too much water. That's we we did way too much. He's hydrated. Enough talk. It's time to come. There's a part of me that says we we could draw this. There's a part of me that says we could win this shit. Is Morbius on Netflix yet? I need something to watch. Nobody sent it to you on Discord. I can't admit to that on national television. It's a felony. Isn't it? it? Shit is scary, man. Every time you boot up a movie, don't you love it when you legally you boot up a movie you legally purchased and it says don't steal this movie or we'll put you in jail for 10 years and fine you 250,000 US dollars? I bought this shit. I'm how do you think I'm watching it right now? Okay, by the way, and again, you're going to say, NL, you've lost your mind. I'm telling you, in all sincerity, hedgehogs go insane this week. No joke. No joke. 
two hedgehogs plus spawning bees will we, that can carry us to like round seven, especially if we could toss a pineapple on their ass and then get some garlic at some point. I'm telling you, it's going to look. Watch this. Ant at the back is not fantastic. And yet, oh, here I go winning again. You say hedgies work every week? They do, but then I take them too much. I, I let them go for too long and then it all falls apart. Okay, just invest in some HP early. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, I think, I honestly think your ass has got to go. And then I know this looks very bizarre, but try me with one of these. And then we got to find a way to get your ass to live. It's not going to happen, huh? <laughs> well, that is a problem. <laughs> um, uh, well, you know what? Uh, we draw these? We draw these? Okay, we lose these? We lose these? <laughs> We need some garlic, man. Uh, okay. I just, that was a snap pick. I didn't really know what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, okay, you can't buy a snail. So don't... Look, okay, I'm sorry. How much that you do... Two, four damage, you do two damage. Okay. I'm sorry, okay? But we're just gonna... We're gonna root for a draw early here. Probably freeze that as a just-in-case. We're just rooting for a draw, okay? Oops. Part of your squad is dead, but not as much as I would have liked. I gave you some money like a fool! Okay. Now... I mean, the next obvious step would be this. <laughs> some garlic. Garlic! Can, you, can your ass live? It would take two? No, it would take four, then two. No, your ass cannot live. But nor can your ass. <laughs> I mean, I gotta do this, otherwise you're just gonna replace the garlic when you die on the ant anyway. You level up. Okay, we need one of those for next time. Okay, okay now, this, I want to lose. I want to lose this one. Oh, shit. They got a camel with garlic on it. All right, that was fast. Um, the bear is too ass to live. What are you talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about, okay? <laughs> Now I have enough HP to survive a little bit. And I go level two bear. Uh, freeze you for that. Go four squatted. I'm telling you, hedgehogs go off this week, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just because you have no vision. I lived. Now your ass needs to get buffed, so you never die. We don't need this shit anymore. You're gonna be so sorry. Insane man makes a team that loses every time. Yeah, lose this. There's five wins. I think you're right. I think your ass has got to go. Sounds good to me, brother. Now, if you could just give me another hedgehog real quick. I don't know. We could just take one of these just, just to live. No. Not going to do it. No? Okay, I'll take my 3-3 three, three buff. 
Mm -hmm. A little spooky, a little spooky, We're getting a little spooky with it. Or are they? Or are they? Yep, yep, that's bad. That's horrible. Six, five wins and some bones, whatever the hell that means. Okay, remember when I said where we just go a little too hard on the hedgehog? I think that's an example of that. Maybe an iconic monk. Hey, hey, you want to see my Gregor Mendel impression? So uh, you wouldn't get it. You had to be there. <clears throat> plus two, plus two, plus two. He has a Gregor Mendel, uh, originator of Mendelian genetics. He was a monkey at a receding hairline. <laughs> Family Guide to your reference. I mean, that show's on TV, so how bad could it be? Hey, Lois, this reminds me of the time I went to Gregor Mendel's barber. Eh, I know I said take a little off the top, but this is ridiculous, Lois. <laughs> but at least I didn't get a haircut from Gregor Mendel's barber. Yeah. Stewie, where'd you get that haircut? Gregor Mendel's barber? Dad, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, done. I'm done with this. I'm, okay, sheep, sheep goes insane. What is happening? Was that a good? Is that a good Stewie impression? Was that a good Brian impression? Yes, yes, it was a perfect Stewie. That's how you know it's easy. Ox at the front, front ox. What the fuck? Brian was on canny. Thank you, thank you. That means good, right? I'm not like a wordsmith or whatever. Okay, why? Just look, I'm not gonna run the numbers. You know why? Cause, cause fuck you, that's why I'm not running the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I gotta, I'm gonna feed you next time. I'm gonna try to create a super hog. So everything's gonna die, right? Except I might not, cause I have more HP than you. I'm bigger on the food chain. Get in my belly. Okay. It's three wins. Beautiful. I mean, you might as well go. I don't really know what your ass is supposed to do. Why don't you just get over here? I gotta create a super scaler. I gotta, like, I gotta feed you an apple. You're gonna give somebody three HP. Seems like we should do this. Roll me. Sell a sheep. I have to do this with the ox. We're running out of gold. Otherwise, the camel would be nice, honestly. Sell me. Buy me. Toss me an ox. I think your ass is still dead. <laughs> I think you're still gonna die. Wait, maybe not. No, no, no. It's just, oh, just hear me uh -huh. out of here. Why trade hog positions? Oh, so that this one does it. This one actually gets to attack once. Okay, sure. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Get Shrek. Oh, and then the ox lives as well. Yeah, yeah, it's great stuff. Oh no! What? Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Be a beautiful. Yeah, sure. Why not? I suppose. Is your ass gonna live yet? <laughs> you, you need this. That's a gimme. You're you're sitting pretty. You're sitting high on the damn hog now. Look at this. Seven HP. I didn't run the numbers, but surely that's enough. I don't see how it couldn't be. Holy cow! That's a strong lad. My ox. Really? Well, anyway, you're taking this. Oh, Jesus. You're gonna spit out a level two now. Any chance? <laughs> Any chance the ox lives if it, gets, if it gets hit there? What if, what if I put you here? Nope. 
that'll work. I don't, I don't think it will. I think it still dies, but now it dies due to the pineapple. So it might have worked before when it was originally. Well, okay. Oh, hold on. This is all fucked up. This is a real issue for me. At least my ox lived at the expense of the rest of my team being destroyed by a single seahorse. Okay. We're not even on lethal. That's so stupid and yet amazing. I mean, this is a gimme. Obviously, we'll be purchasing some sushi first. And then, uh, just... Are you gonna live? Can you live with 10 HP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Yeah. I need a super scaler rolls bison. True. Okay, I can't really I can't really say that that's not true. Oh, uh, weakness is gonna destroy my whole team. Okay. <laughs> not wrong. My my what I would say then is wants to see I want to see something new. Gets mad when I roll the same shit that I uh, roll every time. Roll like roll past, I should say. You live on, you gotta live on this. At some point, you gotta live. I'm, I, was, I don't even know what I was looking for. You just tried this comp? Excuse me, this one has an ox and a whale? No, not again. Not a, not a team that faints. Give me my melon armor. Okay, it's okay, we gotta- Dude, we can't lose. We probably can't win, but we can't lose because we got another hedgehog coming out here. Let's go! Okay, so that's four. So, this is gonna sound crazy. I think I have to feed you first to get as much HP as possible. <laughs> then I put you out of here. <laughs> he, he came out with plus six HP now. He's gonna be so much better. I think that made sense. It looked horrendous. Yeah, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Okay, fair enough. Hey, look, they're not spawning things. So look at this. I get hit. I spawn a freaking 8-8 eight, eight beaver back here. Who's laughing now? Nobody. I got hit again. There's a freaking 8-8 eight, eight for you. And then we're all going to get fucking killed by this. Oh, I lived. Okay. And then, like, you need one of these. We really need you to level up ASAP. Chocolate me? Chocolate me. I'm keeping it frozen. I don't care. No, no chocolate. No chocolate. This is not winnable. This team is too good. The snake's gonna blow us away. What? A, honestly, though, what a boring team. It's like I, I have no respect for this team. Look at this. Is 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 a sad state of affairs. Congrats on, on your boring team. Giraffe Snake. Wow, so cool. Hold on. I got 20 bones. Oh, baby. I'm if I see a hedgehog, I'm gonna make it work. I know that a, a 10 piece hedgehog win exists this week. That's a good one. That's a good one. Better shop, better shop. By the way, I'm sorry to be this guy. I watched the, the two episodes um, that are out of uh, the Rings of Power. Josh, I know. I Look, here's the... Th oh, sorry. Casino time. Everybody, you can enjoy whatever you want to enjoy. Okay? If you enjoy the show, I'm happy for you that you have something to watch. I was... Can I, can I say it? Can I be rude? I was bored out of my gourd. It rhymes, so it must be true. And it wasn't like, oh, it's so cerebral. That it's just gonna like take some setup. I was just, I was just like things were happening, and I was like, make me care. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is like, it's completely invalid criticism. Characters I like so far. I I did like when, in the end of episode one when the guy says, "Are you familiar with the works of Celebrimbor?" I was like, "Oh shit, I know that guy." And then Doctor Oz walked onto the screen, and I was like, "What? This show's political now." Um. But I, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, of shows I've seen two episodes of so far, 
that are fantasy based and based on books, House of the Dragon gets my vote over Rings of Power right now. But again, I want to stress that you like what you like. That's the earliest dolphin I've ever seen in my life. I'm not trying to take away from your enjoyment if you enjoy, if you enjoy the Rings of Power. But I, I was merely, all I can say is for me, for merely myself, I was, I was a little bored out of my board. I was a little bored out of my board, that's it. Or they could both be great. They could also both be great. No, I will not watch She-Hulk. I don't know why. Something obviously is wrong with me. I just, I don't know. I didn't, I, I've kind of fallen off of the Marvel stuff because the Marvel stuff kind of fell off. I haven't seen the recent movies. I'm not uh, a Marvel hater by any stretch. I'm looking forward. Is it tomorrow that Thor Love and Thunder comes out on uh, Disney Plus? I'll probably, maybe I'll try to watch that this weekend or something like that. But like WandaVision, I was like, that's an interesting show. I had a good time. Um, Loki, I was like, this shit's banging. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I was like, this is not, this is a rare Marvel misstep. And then Hawkeye, I was just not motivated to see it. And then uh, Miss Marvel, it seems like every Disney Plus Marvel show that's come out since Loki is like, it's like a seven. You could watch it if you wanted to. Oh, that's true. I did watch Moon Knight. But also when I watched Moon Knight, I was like, I mean, I think I made a tweet where I was like, if they, Moon Knight would be a better show if they took all the fighting out of it. Like the, the character stuff and the dialogue and the explorations of uh, his own mind and stuff like that was very interesting and intriguing. But then when it's like two really tall guys punching each other in the middle of Egypt, I was like, this, this is kind of boring. This is not when the show is working at its, uh, at its finest. Hey, NL, what was your favorite idiom growing up? I had a, when I was in the bathroom, I was reading Twitter. And I, you know what? I, I, I was workshopping a joke in my head. It was going to be something like, why is every British detective novel named like uh, the last line of a nursery rhyme? Because there's one coming out. It stars uh, Sam Rockwell and Suarize Ronan. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Charisse? I've never said it the word out loud. Sersha. Sersha. Okay, Sersha Ronan. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and isn't that one called like uh, Along Came a Spider or something like that? Or uh, Curds and Way? It's called something like that. They're all called like uh, They All Fell Down. Sat on her tuffet. See, it's called See How They Run. See? That, I'm looking forward to the sequel. Um, he lived on Drury Lane. Uh, and then the, the sequel that comes after that. Uh, uh, um, old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And then the one that came after that. Um, the Wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. This doesn't make... What I'm doing here doesn't make any damn sense. You gotta have a mantis. Sell the hedgehog. Dump the hedgehog. The worst part is you're right. Now I can't pass. I couldn't possibly do it. Can't do it now. It just got a buff. No way. <laughs> Sorry. So you're gonna you're gonna die, but you're not gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, na, 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 na. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's eating it. Yummy, yummy. Uh oh, uh oh, your whole squad's dead. And only part of my squad is dead. And then, uh, oh, and then, uh, oh! Four wins. We go, yeah? We go, yeah? Salad me? Yummy, yummy. What a beautiful salad. This is what Mania looks like? I haven't seen it. Isn't that with uh, Emma Stone and Jonah Hill? 
It looked too spooky for me. I don't like I don't like cerebral content like that. Oops, we won again. Five wins. I'm telling you, there is a there's a ten win somewhere this week. I, we don't have it yet. There is a ten win hedgehog team that exists in the weekly this week. Why is nobody talking about uh, Maniac? It's not going down as one of those classic Netflix shows. I loved it. I liked it a lot. True, it doesn't get the respect it deserves. It was a mini series. Yeah. So was your mom. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe this is what mania looks like. Toxic. <laughs> called my, called your mom a mini series. Stop the way everyone told me to sell my seahorse. Now every team that I play has a seahorse on it. I mean, I'm eating my damn mantis. Once again, begging for the location of a zero win option. Okay, here's the thing. You asked for it, how about? 122, 122, 121, 120. Okay, that's just from today. Three, three of the same message in a row. Sorry, that's four messages in a row. Then, this is from a few days ago. When will NL acknowledge that they demand a zero win option? We want a zero win option. When will you acknowledge you want a zero win option? When will you acknowledge you want a zero win option? When will you acknowledge you want a zero win option? Then followed by a bunch of ads. You're actually adding people in the chat to argue about the zero win option. When will you acknowledge you want a zero win option? Hey, NL, how about you give us a zero win option? How about you combine one to two wins and have a zero win option instead? Yes, I know. I want a zero win option. Did you see some base chatter say... They will never watch a sap vod because you don't have a zero win option. Did you see some base chatter say they will never watch a sap vod because you don't have a zero win option? Fuck the Oscars. I just saw some base chatter say you should have a zero win option. It's just, I just, I'm just asking if you're okay. Is that is that what we're looking for? Is just a wellness check? By the way, did I run the? I did run the casino there, right? I mean, like, to get a little silly like that for, like, one day, that's fine. But to keep up the character for, like, weeks at a time, you do you start to ask the question, right? It's not a character, it's who I am. Well, that's why I'm asking if you're okay. It was not five? Like, ten people typed five in a row. Then one person typed seven, and I was like, oh, you're not going to get me. Was that, like, colluded... It was five? Oh, okay, never mind then. But you had already paid it out. You scumbags. All I ask is for absolutely everybody in chat to tell me the truth every time I ask. Is that so much to ask? It's not free points. Those came from hard-fought channel points victories from, from other people, man. That was other people's points. OPP. You're down with OPP? You ever think about how easy it would be to just be like a business person 200 years ago? I was thinking about it. Um, David Miyazaki, I don't know if you're watching. The baby loves the Pikachu. She even took it to daycare today. You also sent us some, some Ghirardelli uh, chocolate squares. And they're delicious. But I was thinking, I, I read the Wikipedia article on uh, Gustavo Ghirardelli, who brought, the, he brought chocolate to San Francisco. Literally... My man was just like, I'm in San Francisco and I open a store where I sell chocolate. And people were like, this is the craziest shit I've ever tasted in my entire life. He was just like the, one of the first guys to bring chocolate to the west coast of the United States. Now he's got a whole square named after him in the city with some of the most elevated real estate prices on planet Earth. Minus two on Ghirardelli's though. I don't know. It's pretty tasty. I'm not like a chocolate guy. But... Uh, I do be goblin. <laughs> Mind goblin? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this one at all. They're pretty tasty. I also love how they're like, um, the one that we got, it's like a seasonal pack. So it's, you're not just eating chocolate when you eat it. You're like, oh, this is a limited release. It's like me when I go to a microbrewery. I'm not like, I'm not getting six IPAs. I'm getting six... 
uh, time limited edition IPAs made with Citra hops. I don't know if you know, because I don't. Are they around all the time? Because they definitely, at the brewery, they made it seem like this is like a limited time. I got a little FOMO. I put our life savings in it. Because otherwise, we, we need a 50 50 in front of our kangaroo. It's the only, it's the most important thing by far. Oh my, oh, oh. I didn't even know what was going on, but the squad is freaking cracked, man. This team is good. Oh shit, wait, this team's amazing? It's not that amazing. It's that amazing! Nine with this team. How the hell does that happen? You made it back. Let's go. Yeah, let's good. Let's go. Yeah. It was good. It wasn't like a, the most disorganized dentist of all time. No, everyone was really nice. It's good to hear. It it's very good. good to hear. But then judging by the look of my x-ray, mm. I gotta get my wisdom teeth out. <laughs> go, go figure. They always wait until you're like, you know, older. The richest part of your life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're on your mom's insurance? Oh, no, these don't need to come out. These, these are, they're, you know, I know they're growing sideways, but sometimes they just turn 90 degrees on their own. Oh, you're self-employed? Hmm. Someone, these, they should have told you to take these out ages ago. I got like two, two of them. They're embedded in my upper jar. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that would be sick. But I think, uh, maybe I'll make it up. I'm scared. How are they going to get it out? Well, I hope so. <laughs> They're not going to cut through my cheek, right? No, no. I mean, I don't know. If, Any orthodontists? If they put you in... Oral surgeons in the tent? If they put you under general anesthetic, I'm pretty sure they'll just put you to sleep. Then they'll, like, keep your mouth open with, like, a... Yeah, the thingy. The speculum. And then they'll just cut around your gum a little bit and pull them out. Anxious about that than cutting my belly open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the C-section is definitely. C-section uh, <laughs> like, dude, I don't even need like anesthesia. Just like, just open me up. I'm like, I'm, the baby is ready to come out. I'm, but I'm that ready. was like, you know, at least when you had your C-section, you're like, oh, the, the recovery is gonna be bad. But at least I'm not gonna be pregnant afterwards, <laughs> right? Because you were like, I get this baby out of me. Yeah, I was like, like just. Open, I'm ready. Get that baby out of me, please. No, I, I But then, like, it. it's like the same thing. My my upper jaw is like pregnant with two teeth, basically. It's not the same thing. <laughs> it does not kick around. That's for sure. It does not kick around. With oh my lord, what do you have? Get owned. <laughs> oh man, it's working. It's working! Do you think people are more, like, anxious about C-section or uh, wisdom teeth? Yeah, C-section, like, by a factor of 10. What the heck? What's wrong with me? It's a much more serious operation, uh, and then lots of things can go wrong with both mother and baby. Why am I, like, so real? Oh, I had three wins. Okay, go go make lunch. Uh, what is this? What is, oh, what is the what is that? What is that? <laughs> That's Walter White falling down. <laughs> I need you to make lunch because I can't get off the stream until you eat lunch. No, I'm good. Thank you though. I'm not canceled. I I just there's a workflow associated with this. I'll be a golden seed. She's not making my lunch. I'm making my own lunch. 
Mmm. Anti moth technology. She makes dinner. <laughs> it's a sentence that sounds fucked up, but is actually not fucked up at all. I make my own lunch. My wife makes dinner. People are like, boo. Boo, I think. I think we're booing. It's delicious. Level two stegosaurus. Ooh, nice stegosaurus. Mm, mine's a little bigger though. <laughs> mm, sus. This stegosaurus is bussin, no cap. Sheesh. I'm I'm not going off on Apollo, okay? He's one of my friends. He's one of my best friends in this godforsaken world. Really, P.O.E. to Valorant, though? P.O.E. to Valorant? Uh, go, oh, oh, I'm so sick of uh, my life being so fucked up. I gotta get off heroin and start drinking uh, uh, cyanide. This is not how I talk about you, Jay. Because you play sports games, and I love sports games, even though nobody else on this platform loves sports games. If I didn't like sports games, I would be like, oh, my name's Jay. Uh, oh, uh... Edger and James just rushed for a touchback. Whoa, seven points to Gryffindor. You know what's fucked up is that nerds on the internet, they're always, they get together and they go, oh, sports ball, sports ball. The problem with Arsenal is they always try to walk it in. And then like somebody tries to interface with them with their, hobby, their hobbies, and they're like, well, <laughs> technically fireball is not a spell. It's called a cantrip. Uh, what's a cantrip? Oh, it's a spell, but you can only use it a certain number of times. There is, it's a big difference though. Try to keep up. Anyway, let me send you over <laughs> to my wife's stream.